Hello everyone! In this video I'll tell you how to create uh, an Excel file which answers the question if a given corpse is planner or not. First of all, to create such a file we need to, um, to have an algorithm. How we decide this? An algorithm is presented in the previous problem in fact. And it said that if you have a planar corpse, if you have a corpse with n vertices, then the, the number of edges we, uh, which we have to check for crossing is exactly n times n minus 3 over 2. So if we consider the corpse with 5 vertices, the number of edges uh, will be 5. 5 minus 3 over 2, that's exactly 5. Uh, so we have to check 5 edges for crossing. And these edges are exactly this a1, a2, we have to check with a3, a4, and a4, a5. a2, a3 with a4, a5, and a5, a1. And a3, a4 with a5, a1. All these edges are taken from this algorithm. Okay? And um, the, the algorithm uh, for checking for crossing, uh, in fact, will be your, your homework. And therefore, I'll just show you the ready file where we check for crossing several uh, sorry, all these edges of the cops. So in this file you see the input information are just the vertices. Here the vertices are repeated and here the um, uh, the sign areas of triangles, for example this sign area of triangle A1, A2, A3, this A1, A3, A4, this A1, A5, A, A4, A5, and this data also are necessary for decide uh, to decide if these edges cross these edges. Uh, okay, and I, in fact, I showed already how to create this table in my previous video. So, assume we already have this file where you can answer if one edge crosses another edge. And we have to check if a1, a2 crosses a3, a4. It's written here, a1, a2, a3, a4. a1, a2, a4, a5. a2, a3, a4, a5. a2, a3, a5, a1. and a3, a4, a5, a1. So we already have the answers for these edges. And here, in fact, we have the following cops. You can check the coordinates. And you see that uh, the only crossing here is the edge A1, A5 and A3, A4. So exactly as here. Okay, so assume we already have this file. And now let me show you how to, how using this file, how to decide if the corpse is planar or not. Um, I have the same data, so this is absolutely the same data. The only difference is that instead of do not cross, I type here 1. So you see in the formula, uh, here in the formula, you see crosses, do not cross, do not cross on some conditions. Here, 0, 1, 1. So instead, do not cross, I put here 1. And instead of cross, I put here 0. Just replacing do not cross with 1 and crosses with zeros. Okay? And now you see that the cops is planar if you don't have crosses here. So if you don't have zeros here. So now it's quite, quite easy to decide if it's planar or not. It's planar if there, there are no zeros. It means that it's planar if the product 
of these numbers is not zero. Okay? So, uh, we say that the cops is okay and the answer will be in this cell so equals if and here we check if the product of these things is zero so if we multiply all these cells and obtain zero then the cops is not planar right not planar not planar and if it's false it means that it's not zero then the cops is planar That's it. So in our case, it's not planar. For the other cops, say this one. A4 is minus 5, 1. A4 is minus 5, 1. It's planar. Yeah, it, this is indeed planar since there are no crosses, crossing edges. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your attention. See you. Bye-bye.